fun and funny in the sun. Hello. And welcome back to Ash and... Hmm. Ah. I wonder if our... How long has it been? A couple... A couple sessions? We did a two sessions, I think. Uh, two sessions ago. Okay. Well, we were last up there, heroes. They traverse they've been traversing through the ashlands after the trial or the first two trials they have been through heading northward towards the trial of fury but where we as they were traveling they got their tires stuck by some ooze creatures and then uh they burnt it off and uh, decided to sit camp for the night and start did, i don't know cycle. did we did we burn it off because i remember i tried burning it off i am sorry okay i am paranoid and i'm like it's gonna explode oh, you guys, you guys, the bomb. don't you, do it well, you guys used a geyser <laughs> to blow it off okay I I I was just paranoid. I'm sorry. I tried to like That's take fine. over your character. <laughs> no, you're fine. Is it the power washing simulator Narakov DLC? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my God. That's funny. The fucking you have two, but you have two options to clean the slime: water, fire. <laughs> I, can I choose a third explosion? What do you mean explosion? <laughs> no more explanation. Use both. Can I use both? Yes. I don't know why that sounds like something Varix would say. <laughs> All right. Well, you have two new companions in your journey. They're bounty hunters. Uh, but I don't even think they got a chance to talk about where they were. It's okay. Uh, no, someone's like trying to rope. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of them's trying to get romanced by one of our party members. Try. What did yeah. you try? Is it, how was it, was it working? <laughs> I'm doing that. Not if I have Not anything right. to say about it. Oh, I love... <laughs> love triangle appears. If if you get into a triangle with me, I will use my Rishole specialist to hit you several times. <laughs> uh... you, you are an angle, boy. Alright. <laughs> Go aim Boxer. Boxer is a good one for you. Buddy. <laughs> Everyone's lining up outside. And my face, date me! Date me! <laughs> hey, Gario. I think you were yeah. chatting with her. Uh, I think we were d going to a rest, and I'm just chilling here. Enough. That's all I remember. Horus is just... hasn't gotten off the couch that he... Into. That's when the place is he breathing? Uh, he's breathing. He's just. Well. He is breathing. Uh. But a little bit of is like. Is that a problem? Wheezing. <laughs> um. Just a second. How how's he doing? Want to make a medicine check? Sure, I'm not good at those, but still, <laughs> might as well. That's okay. Can I see him leave his room? Hmm. Do or I see you like leave his room? Oh, I, think I mean, I, I was already here. Before. Ah, yeah. okay. I'll swoop in for his woman. Uh, a nine. A nine? 
He's breathing. You're not sure what the wheezing is, but perhaps he's winded. You're not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure how to fix you, buddy. What it, do you need anything? Uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, here you go. Have some of this. You see a proboscis slide into the the water skin, and then come out. Thank you. Tell me if you need a potion. They will not. Oh, Where was bit. I? Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, and how was your monk training? Where did you get it? My training? Oh, I yeah. trained my own body and mind. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Self-trained. Mm -hmm. uh, and where were you born then? In the mountains. To the west of this place. Mm. I guess well, in technicality maybe. within the Gnome Drakius Empire, but not a citizen. A tribe. I see, I see. Well, tell me more. What do you think of the Empire? I have no opinions about kings and queens. Emperors and empresses. Hmm. Well, I would love to know more about your opinions that you have, like other subjects. I'm gonna like do a small chat here, mostly listening. Fair enough. You chat around months. <sighs> So, who's taking first watch, if you guys are going to take first watch, or if there's little extra things you guys want to do before you guys go to bed? Uh, armor. Do I have to roll something for the dragon yeah. clone armor? Uh... For the tank? That will take too long before you go to bed. So okay. I'm going to do that when you guys wake up. Okay, that no, sounds good. I'll uh, take first watch. Alright. Uh, after light chatting, uh, eventually she'll head off to her. Well, say that she'll want to sleep now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll be in the driver's room. And. You just see a puddle under the table. Puddle? Yep, just a puddle. With clothes next to it. And the bag. Oh god. I'm gonna need a bucket. This fucking cat, man, I swear. The puddle is actually a boxer. Mm -hmm. He is Puddle. He is Puddle. Alright. Can, like, me... can I like mop him up? Technically, but he'd still stay together. Oh. Could you roll me, King, a perception check? I hope we're all that good. No way. You had to oh jinx God. it. Damn. It was going to a 19. 
I seen that. Why do I feel like we're about to get a hit with something? <laughs> no? I'm I'm at the wheel. Just just the start and go. King, you're, for some reason tonight, you were just so distracted. You see this, you walk off from your post and just head into the kitchen. Uh, make yourself some food. You come back out, look out the window, and you just see... Two very large goats. Just grazing nearby. Oh no, it's a bait. Right? That's what I'm thinking. You know I can't help myself. That's that's good food right there. Yeah, yeah. Good uh, yeah. But you don't have to eat though. As you're like munching on food, staring at the goat. Yeah, Making like... me even hungrier than I already... You're, you're not required to eat <laughs> food for living. And you're e currently eating. <laughs> but uh, but, but the it's two a good goat, Think about the yeah. meat. Um, <laughs> oh, they'll still be there by the morning, probably. They right. won't. I'm gonna I'm gonna start making a plan. Alright. While the you're making your plan, them. who are you gonna wake up next for? Watch. Um Who's next on duty? Wants to think they have a good I'll role. take it. Take it? Okay. I'll go wake him yeah. up. Alright. I'm bad at looking. You eventually go and wake up Caval. Ugh. Anything interesting happened? Uh, hunt king tomorrow for goats, giant goats. I'll take this, yes, and Ugh. would I have time to bardic myself for? This uh, yep. next part of watch, or yeah, that's fine. Thank you. And perception. Huh? Way better roll than man. Nice. <laughs> Seventeen total. You see, you see the goats that they were talking about. And you also see strange, uh, a wind, like a gust of wind in like, almost like a large square, just moving forward. Like, not an actual square, but like, it just... It's just smoke and stuff like maybe uh, ash and stuff just moving. But it's so weird because it's not like there's wind around causing it. It's just all moving around in different directions but moving forward. Make me an arcana check. That or nature. Uh, I'll stick with Arcana for now. Alright. Or, I mean, 20. 20. Alright. Those are... Uh, those are like air elementals. Yeah, these are... 
smoke para elementals. And they're just rolling through. <clears throat> uh, does look like they've kicked up ash and dust and things like that as they've been rolling, but it seems they're not bothered by the machine that's in front of them. They continue on their path. That's fucking ominous. And it doesn't look like the... Actually... Did they notice the goats at all? Uh, they actually rolled through the goats. Uh, one of them is gone. Hmm. And you'll be disappointed. Uh, I'll see. Who would have been the next person to watch? Probably me. Hmm. Okay. I will just minor illusion the sound of wake up in your ear. Bombaturgy. Wake up. What's that wisdom say? <laughs> oh. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's not a. Uh, no save. Uh, uh, mm, mm, yeah, mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. I'm awake. You're up for watch. Uh, nothing much happened apart from some power elementals like we fought before came by. Mm, okay. Took a goat and there's one still outside, but don't tell King. He'll be so distraught. Right, well. Go ahead, sleep. I thought he would be happy for a goat. I'm, I'm just checking out windows. Can, can I be at the roof and like see everywhere instead of walking in? Huh? I, I'm gonna do that. Hey. Might even fly a little, like 10 20 feet up for better vision. Right. I mean, you're looking into Ashlands at night. It's black on black. There's there's not much. Yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> Lucky super, superior dark vision. If I see gray, there's something. Uh, perception. Could have been worse. <laughs> At first, you don't see much. At first. But all of a sudden, you're not stealthed, are you? Nope. I'm having tea. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I'm doing the traditional Turkish thing, where I pour the tea from very high. So I, I put the tea on I'm the tank and fly up. I'm not going to ask what your AC is. I'm guessing a 23 beats it. Ah, yeah, 23 hits. Okay, a large rock goes and whacks you. 
You get knocked out. Uh, make me a dex save. To see if you, uh... Strength or dex. Save uh, I'd to rather do strength. keep yourself in the air. Jesus. Is that damage? Yes. Holy shit. Uh, you took a hit. Uh, do you go back in your tank as you hear a... You... Oh, you understand giant, so this is gonna be funny for you. Funny huh? flying man! Get out of sky, I beat you! And you see a large fire giant near but the tank holding another rock, it hopping up and down his hand. <laughs> a large yeah. fire giant. In, in, gi in giant, I'll say, I'm sorry, I'm getting down. Sounds like he stepped into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> uh, do, do you want something to drink? I, I, as an apology? I want your things. So, I'm happy to give it to you. Why don't you come over here? And I will elect to party by screaming into the tank without, like, tr triggering the giant. Everybody, combat positions. Everybody, wake up. <laughs> I I'll, I'll, like, drop some shit into the tank so it makes noise. I'll probably don't need my smithing tools, and I bet those make a lot of noise. I'm just gonna drop the shit, in, like, so it makes a lot of sh noise. Yeah, I'll hear you right away, because I didn't quite go to sleep, or fall asleep, because it hasn't been that long, has it, since I... A few hours. Oh, okay, no. Uh, how much time do I have until the giant is, if it is approaching? Not long. You can hear... Well, in all honesty, you can feel the tank move. Alright, uh... Who be hitting you my tank? And you hear, if you can understand Giant, you hear, GET OUT! GIVE ME! Uh, <laughs> and the whole place is going... You can feel the tank just rocking a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so... Is is this giant wanting to be hostile with us in the tank? From the looks he of it right is now? He's, he's kind of like, he, Alright, I'm gonna really initiate combat, then I'm just gonna teleport out into the sky and try and hit him with my axe. Oh, sky? I- that didn't work out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, what are you gonna do he when a raging dropped. barbarian just teleports right in front of your face if you're within range of the tank? Uh, okay. anyways, I'm- I'm drinking a couple potions, is that fine? Do I have enough time? Oh, yeah. You have time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I will literally do this. I, here's the thing, though. I don't know how many people in the group actually know I can do this, so if we're all chilling in the tank, y'all just gonna see me disappear. Like, I, I'm serious. <laughs> 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 this, is, you guys, this is gonna be, like, the first time, uh, like, King maybe, kind of like, why the fuck was he biting people constantly last time, right? That's different, you know what I mean? But, like... Yeah. yeah. Well, I smell you dead, so I kind of... Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, right? You, you got it. Okay. Uh... Something's attacking my tank, though? That's not gonna fly. Alright, uh... uh... Are you guys... Yeah. I'll start climbing out of the tank. Climbing out of the top? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Onto the top. Okay. Gives me a high I'm position to jump. Uh... So, I'm, I'm a little to fun it. fact how... about fire giants, they're... They're evil. <laughs> oh, per, so I, should, I, shouldn't even, I, should even, I shouldn't even feel bad. I shouldn't even feel bad when <laughs> I have to do this. How tall thing. is this fire giant? Um, yeah, this one is very large, aka gargantuan size. He's how big. many feet? So, like, how, how feet, how um, much, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me check. Uh, I have a size chart here. He's a 20 foot tall giant. Maybe more. Oh, okay, so I can definitely jump on his shoulders and 
you know, I think Gargantuan starts with 34 up to I uh, 32 up to 64. Hmm. Uh, they they cover 20 feet though in map. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I think I'm gonna do since this guy's fucking with my tank, and I, I'm gonna be very mad for the amount of time I've put into this tank and like its engine. I'm just gonna teleport out of the tank and throw the Ethereum canister at its fucking face. <laughs> we didn't oh, get the oh, bone armor oh. on him yet. Not even. Okay. Like, it's like... <laughs> um, so something you... wants to attack our tank. Yeah. Once you load into the map. Uh, let me know if you're coming out of the top of the tank or through the side doors. I, oh, hold on. I gotta I gotta reload. My thing's fucking um, dumb on me here. Yeah, I'll probably come, be coming out of the tank. Right. I, oh, wait, no, because I'm in the back. Where the engine and shit and the that, side port. That so I'd probably get the fastest way. But uh, coming out of the top of the tank is fine. If you want to do that. Mm -hmm. You have the time to do that. I know. Uh, but... I'm just thinking, story perspective, fastest way is that way. Oh my guy. I'd probably climb right to the top as well. As fun as it would be to go outside. the side. Uh, did, how did the potions work? It was, was it bonus action to drink your own action to feed it someone? Yes. And did it have any bonuses if we drink it as an action as uh, to our ourselves? Uh, it's just versatile in that way. I see. The only potions that don't allow a bonus action are specific. Um, some potions, uh, some like uh, other types of potions, and superior and supreme. So, like, you can drink like. Um, the haste potion or something potion of speed as a bonus action i've allowed it's just uh it's because they're quick drinks type of thing but uh there's some potions that require an action uh let me know your positioning where you guys are going to be as soon as i start combat uh but cyril i'm actually going to allow you to uh, use your I, yes and toss your grenade right away because the giant is not expecting that. Can, so, but that will start the combat. That's fine. Can I? Do I get to rage before I teleport? Is what I wanted to know. Yeah, you. You guys have like oh. a, Yeah, you're fine. Oh yes, this this is just gonna be too good. Ye so. Are we all just kind of like chilling around each other right now? I, I, I yeah, I moved my guy to the hatch. Cause y'all about to witness some crazy <laughs> ass. Y'all about to witness some crazy ass shit from me. Um, um how close can we start? Actually, hold on. I want to make sure I have this correct. Fifteen feet. And I can throw twenty feet. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. This will work here. Uh, you guys can be as close, uh, right here, like, right on top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I'm just imagining, yeah. there's a, like, a weird imagination that my mind is going through. Because you guys have a turret on I mean... the top of your tank, right? So it's just pointing in yes. some direction. <laughs> it, you know what? It's, it's, it's doing the stuff... It's just looking for stuff up in the air or something. Who knows? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of forgot we had that turret. I'll be real with you. <laughs> you <have a> <laughs> so your canister is fully, uh, the canister is fully kitted out. So it's easy, you can throw uh, with it and deal damage. So, we are we the evil guys here for attacking a guy? He But he attacked us first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he walked it's up and... Fair. Well, okay, what would you do if you walked up and I kicked your house? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, we're just the I'd bees fuck in your the dad. Oh, wait, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> your dad, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh. Does that hit? Does a 17 hit? 
it will just miss, but that's fine. Oh, the thing's still it's an it, AOE it, it gets close enough to him that it still explodes. Okay. Should I roll damage then? Yes. He rolls at 12. Howie. Um, uh, a Furic explosion. What, what kind of armor does he wear? Plate. Okay, if if it's not magical or if it doesn't have any shields, we can assume his AC is 80. Yes. Well, you... you could assume that. Yeah. Okay. Could be magical, could be worn and tore, stuff like that. Yeah, but still. Let's see most things. And I four, guess six. No, I'm not. I'm not close enough for that yet. Seven, so. eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I think. For, I think just for that, I'm just gonna end after that. Thunder. Oh. What? what the, where did that voice came from? <gasps> yeah, I, I don't know. Uh oh. That's itchy. The canister is still, uh, you can refill the canister afterwards. Perfect. See? I like this. So, we just roll, roll for initiative now, I'm guessing? Friends. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> also, uh, everyone knows I can teleport now. Yeah. How's it? <laughs> What y'all just think of that? In one moment, I'm I'm next to you. In the next moment, I'm just over there throwing a fucking canister at the fire giant. To, Nobody has any questions to, to how Barbarian just teleported. To everyone else, <laughs> your character just turned into mist and reappeared outside. Yeah, just like, what? Mm. Bye bye uh, He's a misty boy now. <laughs> oh, this is going to be well, so fun. Yeah, the good fear. Two of us see, did see you get bitten and dragged out. Oh, that's true. See... I remember you guys noticing me getting dragged out and looting my pockets for some gold. <laughs> you made it so easy. Motherfucker rinsing right. my pockets. Alright. This might not be that tough of a fight. I'm... Other than him hitting you guys hard. You know what? I'm here I'm here he for it. Cut. One of you. I, I am... I'm... Yo, let's do this. <laughs> Fucking Just fight me. Hit. No, right. no, I, I want, I want it, I want him to come. What'd you like to learn I, about? I... <laughs> they. Well, that's enough. Um. They don't have any extra abilities or anything. Uh, they just have their great sword attack, a rock, multi attack, and their plate armor. So. There isn't anything you can learn that. You can learn its stats, you can learn its okay. HP, and you can learn its immunities. Um. I'm technically already good to see, but still. Um, immunities, please. Immunities? Yeah. Yes, please. It is immune to fire. That's the only immunity. Takes no damage mm. from fire. No conditional immunities? Nope. Excellent. Excellent. I'm gonna take your things. It's mine now. Oh sh! <laughs> I wanna, oh, wanna start with my up. weapons. <laughs> Are you? I know I talk a lot of shit to you, but uh, fuck him up. <laughs> and for possibly the first time, I'm gonna give you a bardic. <laughs> oh. Geez. For every time I got fucked by you with um, silver barbs, I get a bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> For the bullying. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> no, 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 you don't get to do good things, <laughs> but kill him. <laughs> okay, then. Just be safe. Uh... 
Out of curiosity, we didn't hear him talk in common. He said all of that in giant to Garyu, Yeah, right? it's just for Garyu. Garyu can understand him. I, if you have Comprehend Languages active, then you can understand him. If you understand giant, you just know what he's saying. But I think that's just so Garyu. So he wants to steal our shit. Yes. He can say that. He wants to steal- Oh, okay. <laughs> this is where I put my foot down. I, sound like a bandit. I, so, <laughs> I- I just, I just want to say this. He claimed that everything we own is now his. Thus, we are actually in his property. I'm going to kill him and take his weapon. If I, <laughs> I want to see if I have the strength to hold it. You took my goat, I take your things. <laughs> so I, I, make a nice so, voice goat out of his foreskin. So he, he says who, we took his goat. Who took his goats? The goat is over there. <laughs> the, oh. the elementals took his one of his goats. But if you yeah. kill him, you get his goats. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're, we're killing him. We're taking his goats. I'm gonna try and take his weapon. Just look at that big meaty cleaver. Yeah. I, I think that would be quite good. Can, can I actually use that when I'm big? <laughs> Command so freeze. DC 15. I give you an 11. <laughs> Now give me your best statue impersonation, Nikki. <laughs> um, yeah. he puts he does the uh, putting on the gun show type pose. He does the Zoro pose. Oh. I didn't know my type. You need a few more stab ones for that. The fire giants do look like Gan uh, Gan Ganondorf. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Ganondorf-looking yeah, motherfucker has no idea what's coming for him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's my turn over. Maybe He's the Gerudo are there. just Wait. giants. Garyu. It is your turn. Oh uh, yeah. Angelic Wrath, activate. Uh, I have... I have everything ready. And he is within 20 feet of a wall. So, you know what's coming, boy? Oh, let's go. Before, before you do that, because he's because I told him to freeze. Does that mean attacks against him at the advantage, or would he need to be prone for that? Uh, you would need to be. He would have to be prone. For that. And wrong range would have I, been dis a disadvantage, anyways. Oh uh, yeah, I would have disadvantage. If they were prone. But they're just holding still. It's kind of like halting. One. Fair enough. Two. Hit, hit. Three. Hit. Alright. Uh, action surge. Two more attacks. One. Two. Does any of them miss? Lowest is at 20. No, nope, none miss. Alright, the rolling damage for five times. Uh, let's see if the first one's correct. Uh, it is not. I don't have my Angelic Wrath on. Uh, I need to add a plus, and I don't have my Giant again. Smite on. It should yep. be active now. Uh... Oh. And your giant smite is another like D D six. D six, okay. Didn't you um, already use Angelic Wrath uh in yeah, the that's tar like fight? On a short rest. It's a short or long rest, it comes back. Ah. Oh, no problem. Four. And uh five. The final five. And then roll me 5d6. In that, that is... Uh... No, wait. Like no, 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 no. It's Christ. a singular d6. It's not every strike. It's one, one of your attacks gets a extra d6 on it. So oh, just roll me a don't... singular d6, not the Angelic Wrath, the Giant Smite. So yeah, just roll me a d6, oh. please. Oh, right. So 
so. <laughs> More than half of each HP gone. <laughs> Just get sliced up. the atoms. <laughs> Slightly bigger man. You ever get... And, and, and then you know you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go prone. <laughs> so he has this advantage of attacking me if he wants to. <laughs> and I, I'm like moving 30 feet this way. Oh, I moved too much. If you're uh, prone, you move at half speed. I, I can go prone as a bonus action, right? No, a free action. So I can move and do go prone. Okay. It's also frozen in place, so you don't need to. Yeah, but even if he's frozen, he can still do ranged attacks. He cannot move, but he can do ranged attacks. Alright. Now your turn? Uh, thinking Marshall, yes. There you go. Uh, plus four. Uh, that's not enough, I think. Eleven? Uh, what would you like to learn? Oh, uh, what? Uh, he has, has nothing he has special, stats right? and health. And we already seen what his rock can do for the ten damage. <laughs> uh, let's get the stats. Why not? Okay. This thing has overcapped strength and con. Twenty-five strength, nine dex, twenty-three con, ten intelligence, fourteen wisdom, thirteen charisma. All right. King. End of my turn. All right. Oh, well, obviously I'm gonna run at him, dumb. Fall and start technique him. Yeah. I roll a net one. I am not prone. Knocks <laughs> <laughs> prone. <laughs> Kick to the face. <laughs> And I take 12 bludgeoning damage. Alright. Well, while you're prone... <laughs> you now have... Vintage on your axe. Alright. I'm gonna bite you... Twice. First. Miss. That will hit. Yeah, you find an open piece of the armor and bite down. Oh. I'm gonna reroll that. Shit, I shouldn't have rerolled. Oh. Alright, and then I'm gonna. Uh, blurry blows. Punch. Unarmed strike. Hit. Hit. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That was a 16. My bad. 18 is the AC. Okay. I'll do, uh, attack again. Good advantage. Damn! Just taking it. Um, I can't do anything else actually after that. Alright. Your turn. Zero. Ooh. Now it's your so turn. I'm gonna get... Yeah. I'm gonna move in a little closer. So. I don't, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but you made a mistake by attacking your tank, and you're going to pay with 
give your life for it. I'm sorry, my friend. And then, I, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna reckless and attack. Alright. And then I think I will make an extra attack just cause. Oh, he still has advantage, doesn't he? It's breaking his phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you really didn't have to reckless. And with that last blow, you kill him. Okay, if not, I was just gonna bite him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to Fight. get his turn. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. Happens sometimes. Mm. Bah. Just kind of good because I really didn't want to get hit by that. <laughs> yeah. After the one hit from you to every beast, he like one shot, yeah. If he would have hit me, fuck, I would have been splat. Hey. We just emptied our pockets. We used everything. This we giant had. has a oversized greatsword and very large plate armor. So a lot of metal. Yeah. We can work. How is that great sword? Is it liftable by any of us? You. Oh, me. I assume when I get big. King and Cyril all can lift it. Let's go. Wielding it is so a can I... different problem. So how, how, it is how much problem, of a struggle is it for me to lift this? Um, you and Garu have apt strength so yes it won't it's not a super pro it's not like that much of a problem but it's uh definitely heavy heaviest thing you've dragged around um, how about when i get wielding big? it however would require a specific feat or being a specific race Oh, so I, I just couldn't pick it up and start running around with it like I'm fucking... You could wield it at, like, uh, without proficiencies, and it would be, like, difficult. It'd be more difficult nah, now for my King. time. <laughs> so, in proficiency, you lose to hit and them. No, not damage. You lose to hit, right? If you're proficient, much... it means you add your proficiency bonus whenever you make your attack. yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, how much damage does it deal? Uh, one more damage die, then... Uh... Oh, great sword. So, yeah, 3d6. Is mm -hmm. it worth that? Like, it's like you take a minus 3 to your to hit, and dealing an additional d12. It is close to, like, great weapon no, mastery. Not. What D12? What? It'll be a 3D6, not 4D6. Oh, I'm I'm thinking Great X. Yes. Oh, then it's not worth it. Because if you roll a one, it's bad. You roll one with anyone, any of them, it's bad. <laughs> No, no, on damage. Yeah, that goes for most weapons. So does Giant Meat offer any, uh... benefits? Uh... Sweats. Sweat. Uh, not exactly. 
Um, uh, actually, eating a giant would be considered cannibalism. Because it's a Not sentient I'm a creature. Not if I'm a shark. You might be a shark, but are you a humanoid? Yes. I want to see the giant forgets about goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was a goat. Yeah, there's two goats. He doesn't know there's only one now. Wait, there's only one now? Yeah. Wait, there was um, more? Boy. There was two, I think you said. Yeah, I think there was two. Wait, just said goats, I wouldn't know you meant. Damn. I'm gonna take a quick look around and see if I find the uh the goat. You find the goats. One of them is missing. It oh, seems this okay. fire giant was herding these goats to uh the mountains. As you guys are close to the mountains, uh understandable why a giant rolled uh, was rolling in this direction can i go kill that goat and how is this me yeah might as well keep them around you want a giant goat, goat? Do you want why do you want you want to keep the goat and put it in the tank so uh, the reason i want to keep them is because uh milk but you have a bucket full of milk all the time. I don't. It doesn't make milk. It doesn't make milk? Oh. It makes mayonnaise. How the fuck doesn't it make milk? Because <laughs> yeah. mayonnaise is oil and egg. Fair enough. That's too sad. It makes tea, but not milk tea. Damn. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I want boba. <laughs> and we need milk for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are we gonna we put it in the tank then? Uh, so the tank doesn't really go fast. What if we just tie them to the back of the tank so they have to come with us? I mean, you have rope. Yeah, but if we... Yeah, but if we travel through any area where it might be bad to be outside, the goat's gonna be dead very quickly. Probably. Ah, uh, that's right. Or if you it's roll smart. over, like, magma pools and stuff, they might just yeah. fall in and die. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, tank. Gross you guys go. actually have oh, rolled no. over lava pools and have been fine because this tank is very large and won't fall into those things. You know what? You're right, King. Let's just kill him. Oh. You're getting attached <laughs> to goat now. <laughs> Right. You already picking out his name for a while. <laughs> you you want to keep a goat? All right, keep a goat. Animal handling. You pick it up. Is there I any mean, remnants actually... or remains of the second goat that, that disappeared or got killed? Like what happened to it? Uh, that goat is gone, but there's actually a small flock. You only seen two goats. Ooh. I only seen two goats, but there's but a small more. flock. Oh, how many goats are we talking about then? Here, look, look here. About three goats. Eighteen, yeah. nice. Animal handling. Eighteen. Oh, sorry, eight plus four, that's twelve. Okay, that's good enough. These creatures are pretty docile. No, no, uh, four, four is for my. I rolled an eight. Uh, Fourteen plus four. Hmm? Oh, Fourteen plus four. Oh, okay, eighteen. Sorry, I saw the eight on Calvel King. Yeah. Um. Oh, did you bardic inspire yourself? Yes. I I did. Oh. I gave him a bardic inspiration to start. I see. Yep. Um, before it went to waste, I used it. Mm, come here. One giant to another giant. Shouldn't be too different. Yeah. Uh, While I was doing that, I'm going to see how many teeth I can steal. <laughs> King also manages to handle the goat. 
Are you gonna handle the last goat? I just can't leave him be. It's it's King taking the goat for food. Hey. Wait, why did I use my rope from my inventory? Oh no, I it didn't. Well, it. Anyways, uh, for some reason, rope has charges. Yeah. Come here, boy. Or are you a girl? Which one? I don't know. Not gonna check, though. That's not fun. Not my <laughs> job. <laughs> Aren't these goats a little too big? They're giant goats. They're large size category goats. They might be worth a lot of money. That's what I'm thinking right now. Indeed. What are we gonna feed them? So There's what you're no... saying, it, it would be a shame if you just woke up one morning and just they were just like drained of all of their blood. Yeah, yes. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go borrow the goat. <laughs> What are like we going to feed them? There is no plant life here. Um, can you I make a nature eat? check to answer that question? No, they're going to feed us. We're not going to feed yeah. them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> King in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do goats like mayonnaise? Yeah, do they like mayonnaise? Possibly. I also have honey. Ooh. Something that literally sweeten the deal yeah it's sweeten the meat a bunch just feed it honey will their milk taste like honey if we constantly They'll feed them eat. honey <laughs> they all have wow. diabetes goats eat anything Don't run away i know that hay, pellets barley pea corn oats grains like any type of seeds or grass it, it'll just eat also eat tree bark, apparently. Hmm. Man. There's they a saying goats are the living garlic, disposals. Onions, chocolate, or caffeine related things. Huh? So we can't feed them Italian food. Okay. <laughs> uh they you wanna make me one more what? animal handling check for the last goat? Uh, sure. Perfect. You, dun dun la, you have gained three goats. They're very large, very large goats. Uh, you can also take the oversized great sword and the oversized plate. But I be able to carve out two of his teeth. Uh, yeah, you can also take his toe if you want. Apparently, a delicacy. Now I just need a Daedra heart, and we can make health potions. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Uh, first, let's finish our rest, though. Agreed. Uh, whose inventory am I putting the oversized things in? I don't know. I guess. I have room. Who, I think. Yeah. Who? Who do we trust most with the goats? King. Let's let's give them to Dagon. <laughs> let's let's give them to Dagon. He has good wisdom, right? He can handle some goats. 
You could it's welcome not, back, not, not an insult, but one of you is a vampire, the other one is a shark. <laughs> I'm not gonna trust my goats with I, Kobo. I, I, I think that just sounds prejudiced. I, if you think I'm being <laughs> racist, I am being racist, yeah. Look at it, you know what, just for that, you little Sherpa and your goats, I'm gonna eat one of them in your sleep. <laughs> I I am I do be being racist against shark and vampires. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm a I'm gonna kill one of your goats. I'm gonna skin it. I'm gonna fillet it. And I'm gonna cook it up and serve it to you. And I won't even tell you it's goat. Not not my goats. Not my problem. It's like <laughs> now 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 I have meat. I don't care. I'm gonna enjoy the meat. Mm -hmm. Beast of where? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let, let's can can we get a gender check from the goats as well? Uh, two females and a man. Roll for cock. Roll for <laughs> cock. <laughs> yeah, cock roll. Uh, oh, two female, oh. one male. All right, uh, we can actually, rep they can actually reproduce and create a herd. Yeah, you're guessing that there was two of each, and the, one of them just got taken by those elementals. <laughs> Yoinkers, takers, miners. They, they just took it. Alright. You guys can finish your... I think you're on the last watch, and then you guys are good to travel again. Wakey, wakey, exam, bakey, dagen. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. We have goats Deception. now. Failure. Bruh. Hmm. Dagon doesn't notice anything outside. Hey. As morning comes, you all awaken, ready to start the day once again. Is that like a short rest or a long rest? That asleep? would be uh, finishing your guys' long rest. So now you guys can hit long rest button. Oh, I, I, know, I know who I'm going to feed off of first out of everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you did you put a fucking goat in my engine room? No, this is it. No. Uh, oh, okay. Probably by next session I'll have the second day bottom floor ready to go. Wait, I was about to say. He made that whole speech not trusting us, and he's gonna put the goat in the. I'm eating that fucking goat. No, they're just here. Uh, they're on the top floor. They they can't fit down the ladder. Oh, I can make I, I I I can I can make a goat disappear to the second floor. Don't you worry. I can make it fit down there, piece by piece. You look over. I'm just like ramming the goat down the ladder, <laughs> <laughs> jumping on it. Yeah. Don't you dare hey, touch my my little goatly. Rebel Goatly. The way you name one of the goats is Goatly. Raul Goatly. <laughs> Raul Goatly. I'll think of more goat puns when we get up. Well, the male one's called uh, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. I'm gonna neuter that goat. <laughs> Spirit's gonna haunt you from beyond the grave. It's fucking raw! <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking raw! After getting cooked. I'm fucking raw! Use more seasoning on me! is asking why did you guys take goats <laughs> <laughs> it why wouldn't we fusions? it's like <laughs> all 
All right. Meh. Everyone awakens. Um, this would be a good time once you guys awaken to repair slash put a new armor on your vehicle. So this will. Work you want to do roll anything for it? Oh, I I know what I want to put on our tank. I want to put some goat horns on the front, some ramming, you know, get some ram power. Yay! Hey. But um, uh, Garvey <laughs> White Cyril, you guys are the only two. That looks like I can perform this duty. Uh, as you guys yes. have smithing tools, you guys will be able to like basically get it onto there. I'm just gonna be using smithing tool checks. All right. Uh, let me get check. Use tools. All right. As you both work together and repairing the damages done by the giant who decided to move your tank about like it was uh, a rock, I guess. Uh, you repair the damages done to it. Now you guys can start on putting the d20 plus 8. So you guys just roll d20 to see for this. Um, I need three checks each. Which checks? That works. Three d20s? 19, 18. Five. Fourteen. Seven. Oof. Cole, you suck. Bite my dick for that. Hmm? I'm not. Alright. No, word. no ask, failures. Go. You guys successfully placed the um I don't even know why you guys will on the body. I don't, I don't know. know I heard checks. I heard I, I heard yeah, you want to check the body, so yeah. You guys are putting the things on the oh. tank. But uh you successfully armor up your tank. So your tank now and I get to the where where did I put your tank? Ah, there's your tank. And that Your tank now will gain armor class. Increase. We also have this giant plate armor. We can also use that as armor too, right? Uh, you would have to melt it down into plates to fit on your tank properly. Yeah. Sunder it and then remake it for that. Shouldn't be too hard. What's the last goat name? What's the last goat name? W. E. W. Uh. Hurry up. 
Okay. You guys spend a few hours repairing and armoring up your vehicle. I will have to get a new one, a new version of it we made. That's okay. That won't take long. Are you going to try and sunder the, the metal? Yeah, why not? Alright. Not bad. Alright. Oh yeah, you guys have like a uh, work table stationed in the stairs. You beat the living shit out of this plate metal and make it as flat as possible in multiple areas. And now you can basically attach it to your vehicle. Reinforcing it more. Is that another check? Mm-hmm. All right. Not very efficiently, but you still managed to. I don't know if you needed one from me or not, so I just rolled. If you're yeah, helping him, then like yes. Dying. Fuck yeah. Then yes. Uh, I, I got you. Don't you worry. Successfully placed the armor in parts of the tank that seem to have had less armor than the rest of it. This won't increase the AC, but it will reinforce it. Yeah. I, I fucking love how the Barbarian and the Fighter are the engineers here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's metal, dude. We just hit metal, then hit metal to metal again. Thicker the metal, stronger the metal. Mm -hmm. Dagon spends his time. Um, he has. Yeah, here we are. Oh, why is he using intelligence? That's not white. There we go. That's better. And correct. He spends the time with uh, where you guys have traveled and starts editing the map that you guys have. Making it a lot more streamlined and better than the scrappily put together map you guys had. And as you guys travel, well, once you guys get this vehicle up and running. Uh, Dagon will point out, though, the path you guys are going seems to, uh, at least on the map, go uh, something else. You guys weren't told what you guys were going to find when you guys got there, but from the looks of the map, there's a temple in the direction you guys are going. It also seems that's probably where you guys are heading to. Okay. It's like a very faded uh, part of the map, but it does say temple. But it doesn't... Uh, the beginning parts of the lettering and everything are all so faded it's very hard to understand but it does say temple you're just not sure what to uh that might be the place where we get the trial Trial of Wrath. Yeah. Hopefully it isn't as mm. so rough it's made out to be. Well... I don't expect something easy. But I do want something. Uh... 
I, I, I need magical weapons before going into the trial. My current weapons, light truck realms to be spe uh, specific, uh, they don't deal nearly enough uh, damage to ally enemies who are uh, resisting against magic. Uh, sorry, normal. Uh, so uh, I need magical weapons in that. So you might want to look for a shop or an enchanter. All the way out here. All right. Uh, maybe we can try to enchant them ourselves. What magical knowledge? You're currently the only magic user to that. I, I can't carve the runes. So I, I can't carve the runes in it. I just need the magic infused in it. Uh, so... Kowalk maybe can... You can add the magic into it. Would that be maybe possible? Hmm... Would I know if that's possible? Uh, yes. If someone is um, able to cast magic and stuff and has smithing tools proficiencies, uh, they can infuse their magic with a weapon. I'll, I'll handle the smithing tools and rune carving parts. Uh, because you are a rune knight, uh, you can technically do similar things but it's only based off of the runes you know well i i have, have both smithing and rune carving i mean i i have both carving and sorry in both smithing and rune carving yes but so. the runes you know are not damaging as i said It so... would be possible what you were saying, but we need someone who's a little bit more experienced with smithing tools as well as capable of wielding magic. And while I can wield magic, I have no idea how to use a hammer like that. Uh, I, I can handle the hammer part. And I wanna, I'm going to try this because... No, it looks like I'm not gonna find anywhere to uh, buy the magical versions of these. You guys haven't Let's... run into any traveling merchants in these areas, at least yet. Yeah. So, uh, they do exist, will... but in this land, more than likely quite rare due to the dangerous parts of this place. Yeah, understandably. Nobody wants to be here. Hmm. If you're looking for a magical weapon, I do have this. And I'll pull it the rapier I bought at the uh, trial of Ego. So it's not really your style, but up close, that could be enough. I mean, I also have these. Uh, I take out the spears and I'm like, are they... These are not meant for uh, my style. I need them to be light. Uh, these are light, I show my chuck rooms. So I can chuck three of them uh, at the same time. Where I can only chuck two of these. Which is still fine. I can oh. use other means. But... Well, you wouldn't be able to throw this very well, but it is light. It's uh, more of a dueler's weapon, but... You know, that'd be technically something you'd be able to use. Yeah, uh... Give it a slash, and I'll hand him the, uh, the fun end of the rapier towards him. Well, I guess might as well hold on to it. Uh, you can send a trait in your inventory. By clicking it. Yeah, right click to it, then say trade and choose player. Should be it sent. Yep. 
Pronto. Yes. I I am a magic item hoarder, by the way. I I I generally have a lot of magic items on me. Uh, so if you need anything, just tell me. Okay. Once you get some more suited towards your fighting style, I'll be coming back for that. Even if I have to rip it from your hands. Yeah. Uh, let me start carving these, and once I'm done, I'll come to you for the magic. Oh, once again, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be back. Yep. Yeah. Well, that, I'm going to read more filth in the cockpit. Y'all can get started on pink. <laughs> tank roll. It's time for tank. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, okay. Cyril is doing something right now. Sorry. Sorry. You need a skill for me? I will be needing a check from you in a sec for the tank. And that is athletics, athletics isn't it? Yes. Seventeen. Kind of every 15. everyone is rolled a mediocre roll. I'll roll for zero. Seventeen, not bad. <laughs> Are you kind of messing with the gear shifting and things? And like, a little fascinated by the other buttons and things that haven't really been. Uh, thinking of Boba. Thinking of other things at the time. Uh, at first, you hear the gears grinding as the machine whirs on, and then Gar, you realizes, oh fuck. And fixes it, and then the tank uh, has a kind of it uh, rocks a bit, kind of like a quick jump, and then it starts going normal. Don't. That is like one of my favorite, one of my favorite puddings. <laughs> I I freaking love tapioca. I also it's really so love uh, rice pudding. Too. There's a there's only one place in my city that makes it, and I spend like at least 30 minutes extra to go there. Mm. I just like rice pudding. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Don't knock it till you try it. If you don't like it after you try it, fair enough. It's not for everyone. <laughs> it's a texture thing for some people. So I know some people who will just. I mean, I do like. Uh, anyway. <laughs> you gotta start the train roll and then continue going forward. Okay. Boxer is still sleeping on the table. You need to. What other monster are we gonna run into? Good question. All right. Gar you. Yes. All right. One moment. I forgot about something. Okay. Um, Dagon yells out in the distance. Uh, well, not far from you. As you do, you you two keep your doors open so you can like uh, hear everyone. But there's also like um, speaker. You know those things at like playgrounds where you speak into one and it comes out on another side, kind of thing. Like yeah. those. You have kind of that thing in the, your guys's tank. Pipe. You guys have a pipe. You guys <laughs> can talk through and talk to each other through, and it does go throughout the areas of the tank where Cyril and King are, and to where Garu and 
Cavalar. There's. I genuinely just squeeze. Yeah, I know, but uh, they can hear you <laughs> through that. So it's kind of like a uh, audio ventilation. Anyways, uh, Dagon yells uh, out, "Rock slide!" <laughs> As you turn and look at the mountain, you guys are driving past, and you see rocks and other things start tumbling down. Don't do us, don't do us dirty like that, Nikki. Rocks fall, everybody die. Don't do that. <laughs> no. That that's dirty. <laughs> this won't kill you. You guys are in a very sturdy, well built tank. <laughs> Can we start shooting the turret at the rocks? Um, well, it is acid. It may slow. Well, you guys have a little bit of time, uh, but. Uh, this tank, at its normal pace, moves very slow, and will get caught by the rock slide at this pace. You'll have to speed things up, which will use a little bit more fuel. So, I'm gonna need checks from Garyu and Kapal. And I will be needing consistent checks from King and Cyril in a moment. So, they're gonna be making sure Come that the on, dice engine doesn't fucking overheat or anything oh there we are all right gary you put this thing into higher gear going fast and this thing starts uh you guys hear the engines even louder now they're pumping hard the heat downstairs is very hot as this thing starts barreling forward moving uh, much faster than its normal pace welcome back you guys punch it all right cyril and king oh goodness you're back i will need athletics checks from the both of you i will need a total of three 12. all right good nice 20. one more Initial D fucked my dice over. <laughs> and 23. <laughs> right. Drifts in, hits it. Motherfucker. Okay. Um, with the both of you working hard, uh, a little bit of... Uh, nothing bad there? happens. You guys manage to <laughs> keep this tank afloat until, like, the very end of it, and then the engine cuts. And you guys see the rock slide just behind you and fall and crumble and stuff. But the engine is off and the machine is like a, not moving. So we will have to reboot it. But you managed to outrun the rock slide before it tumbled and destroyed a bunch of your tank. Congratulations. Nice. We 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 don't die. Right. Yeah, the campaign is going. As fail the checks. Oh no. So I have another thing. Uh, it is reaching. Um, well, it is like dusk. We're getting to, and becoming darker than it usually is. Um, but you see a building in the distance. Would you like to push forward a little bit longer and make it there and then sleep? Or would you like to just sleep and rest now and just punch it tomorrow and make it there in the morning? Or like sometime uh, in the morning near the noon? No need to risk it for the, like, it's it's dark we don't see if we don't see the next rocks coming it's, yeah. it's gonna be dangerous yeah you guys actually managed to get to a safer area so even if there is another landslide or whatever three guys are safe i think we can uh, take a rest the then. engine will need a little bit of repairing which won't we'll just take a smithing tools check all right That will not 
be enough. Damn, that's the hmm, Cyril. Four. Would you like to try? No, I can't. I can't get this for the life of me. It'll pop up and actually let me fucking use it. There yep. we go. Mm, that's much thing. better. That will succeed. Uh, you repair the uh, slight burning and parts that seem to have messed up during the thing. Uh, though with a roll like that, you actually manage to find a uh, malfunctioning part of the engine, and you fix that instead as well. Not instead. You fix that as well. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. See? So told you, this is, is, this is my tank. A little bit better that repair Ooh. yeah i guess it is i couldn't uh, see that for the life of me meaning uh you guys will have uh mishap chances increased so well decreased sorry so there's no there's a gonna be less likely chances of mishaps happening with the engine now there still Excellent. will be but it'll be a lot less of a worry We've put our blood, sweat, and tears into this thing, man. Like, and get, getting me some milk. Make sure you get it from the female, not the male. Yep, this, <laughs> this is not Ramsey. I'm gonna get you your special sauce, all right? Don't you worry. Uh, from that unicorn horn. <laughs> God, they're awful. Yeah. Just to go for uh, it to go when it's seven seconds take a wreck. Alright. Uh animal handling, I'm assuming, or survival? Which one? Animal handling. Alright. I didn't know what You expertly milk a goat. <laughs> uh Yeah, you fill um I'm gonna guess you fill jugs and buckets. Oh shit. Ooh, yeah. That rather than just Walking up to the goat with your mug, and just... <laughs> that would be so yeah, fucking yeah. silly. Oh. Starts milking, uh, you overflowing milk... everywhere's milk. Yeah, you milk the goat, and then you uh, take it to the kitchen. I'm guessing. Let's yeah, I, I need to boil it first. You, you you don't drink raw milk. Boil it. It already comes out yeah. warm. <laughs> no. So raw milk, con raw milk, is not really good for your body. I wouldn't think Believe so. Me. It's coming no, from another like... animal. Yeah, yeah. So you boil it first, and it becomes much safer to drink. Never understood the difference between the, the whole milk, 1%, 2%, 3%. I don't understand the percentages thing. So it works like this. Uh, if you boil it down, uh, it gets much thicker, right? And the, what is remaining is the oily part. So you can actually separate the oil from that part too. So it gets less oily. Then you add water in it again. So now you have a less oily, uh, but the same amount of milk. Uh -huh. And I, for some recipes and people, that matters. I see. Well, I learned something new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. Um, well, you guys can take a rest or RP before the night comes because uh, you guys would have to start the engine up to continue going. But it's not exactly nighttime yet, but it's reaching that point. I'll, I'll do me a small RP. Because it it's time to invent now. Boba in this world. I'm going to make myself a hammock out of two javelins I have and rope, and I'm just going to chill in the engine room. <laughs> I, I will I, actually put a hammock in the engine room when I make it. <laughs> uh, so, like, just to give you an idea, like, because I have the javelins, I just took one out, jammed it into the floor, walked, like, five, six feet, jammed one into the floor, and just made a hammock. Like, it's this is my, this is my domain down here. Nice. Hello? Do, do you know ice magic? I bet. Why? Uh, I want ice cubes. 
I think I have an idea, but I can't do it so readily, so... Stand on top of the tank and pour it over the door. Alright. Doing that. Oh, and uh, whenever I tell you to uh, stop it, or whatever the pouring is, otherwise you're just going to melt the ice again. And uh, I'm going to try and cast Rhymes Binding Ice to try and make <laughs> ice from the watery pores. All right. That sounds, that sounds good. You um, you do just that. You um, ready yourself with your magic. And you see the water pouring down. I'm guessing you're using Fountain, not Geyser. Like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you freeze the ice, and as it freezes, it actually freezes upwards, too. And freezes the stream once uh, it finishes. And uh, now you have a stopper that's of ice on your uh, decanter at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that out, and then like, oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm gonna make you a cup, too. You know how uh, and uh, a la part of ice. Yeah. It's time for Boba baby. Gonna for now it's not Boba. For now it's just milk tea. Well we are getting there, we are getting there. <laughs> can I roll a luck tapioca. roll to <laughs> yeah, can I roll a luck roll for tapioca in the rations? <laughs> Uh, your rations are non-perishable items, so it's a lot of that like normally meat is dry and crackers and things like that. Uh, uh, tapioca is normally dry. You cook it to get it wet, like th that soft. What? Yeah, it, it is normally dry and hard as a brick. Then you cook it, and it gets to that uh, slimy condition. Mm. Google it. <laughs> That's why they cassava plant. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I know why they kept buying so much of that. I did not know that's how you make Now I know. So it's a cassava plant. You would need like... Yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> you learn a lot today. An interesting potatoes, uh... uh... Fuck me, never mind. I kinda wanna go make one of those nice Fuck. <laughs> Man, this whole thing's gotten me hungry. Yeah, same. I'm I I made chicken katsu uh, curry. So I'm gonna eat that. Well, for you to make actual tapio oh wait. Sugar, starch, <gasps> things like that. <laughs> All right. Um, Can I get a tapioca more than check? More likely, uh, not because of the <laughs> empire this is from. Uh, that kind of fruit and things more than likely is in the ice fields because of its tropical area. Can I roll a D100 and get it in the one? <laughs> so, uh, that kind of fruit is generally found in places like Brazil, and the only place in my setting that is closest to Brazil is my ice fields. <laughs> the ice lands. <laughs> oh, yeah, I no, the ice. Yeah, the metallurgist ice fields. Which, at mm -hmm. some point, will be considered a different land. So, what else? What else should I add to a boba? Hmm. Cinnamon. Honey. Cinnamon. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, honey. <laughs> honey is a very good idea. 
Can yours and... do honey? Can your canter do honey? Yep, can make honey. Mm. Ah, both can make honey? That's good. Yep, yeah. and I, I, will I will caramelize the honey a little, so uh, it, it becomes much tastier. Ah. Uh. I'm surprised you're not asking King to help you with this, as they're actually a cook. Ooh. I have cooking proficiency. Yeah. Oh, come here, bro. Join I'll me in help. my boba journey. <laughs> Definitely, I'm coming. All right. All right. Uh, uh, do I need to roll? Uh, cooking utensils. Let me, let me get a count. One, two, three, check. four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> How nine? Yeah, nine cups of boba. Nine. Oh, for all the people inside. Are you gonna give boba yeah. to the the goats? <laughs> Would they like it? I made it from their Don't milk. Don't actually. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're feeding. Oh, I can. <laughs> goats are goats. Is this my teddy milk? I'm <laughs> nasty. Alright. So you make tea for uh, you and King's. Uh, so, King, in your inventory, uh, past consumables, there'll be a thing called cooking cooks utensils, and you can eat, roll with that. I just need to. Let's change it to Dex. There you go. Oh! Hello. 15. Why does you not have proficiency? There's uh, plus 3 to that, so that's actually 20. Why is it saying you don't have proficiency? What the fuck? Okay. With a 20, you make the... Uh, using, or together with the Garu, you together make the most delicious tasting tea and uh, caramelize that honey very well. Delicious. Yep. Almost feeling. Alright. Uh I'm gonna grab and give a cup to everybody, including cat box. And come here and give one cup to Lalu and there you go. Thank you. Ah, just like just like home. Stuffs the glass into face. Cleans out glass. Takes glass out. Delicious. God, I love plasmoids. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Uh, that that guy's funny. Are you wanting to spar? Oh, I would love to. How do you want to do it? I believe we have some training weapons, or do you want to just go with hands? I like hand-to-hand -hand combat, too. <laughs> hmm. Stick will do. Oh, all right. I'm adding a core oh, stack just... to your inventory. Carter staff, nice. Yeah. Equip item. In here or outside? Uh. You've got the room in here. Everyone should know yeah. to set it up as jewelers. Yeah, I guess. Oh, sorry. Starts going one way. Cool. Blitz directions. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, these two start sparring with their quarterstaffs. What are the rest of you doing during your little time before you sleep? Again. Welcome back. I don't know what Discord just did. Just had a shit fit. Oh, welcome back. Chilling in the engine room. Ah, uh, you're chilling in the engine room? Just hanging out in your hammock? King is more than likely... I, who's going to be the first person I bite and feed from because I'm starting to get hungry? <laughs> hmm. Uh, who do you think is the most delicious person here? See, I don't, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I should take, a, take some blood from you. <laughs> Just ask for it. No, I'm gonna walk up and challenge you to a game of rock paper scissors. Alright, I. She will lose. I bite spy. you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest way to actually go about that. <laughs> Walking up to people, let's play rock paper scissors. Winner gets to choice. If I win, I'm sucking your blood. <laughs> you win, I change targets. That's... No, I'm, okay. I, you, know, you know what I could do? I, I could I could just, like, mist away into one part of the tank, take a goat, mist back to the bottom of the tank, and just be like, oh man, we're missing a goat? You cannot miss this step or teleport with other creatures. Oh, damn. Yeah. That that is yeah. an Eldrin uh, race thingy. Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. Yeah. I, I guess it's time to cut its legs off and just throw it down the ladder the old-fashioned way. Bruh. <laughs> no, Do, I I won't harm you your goat. Uh, I didn't you want, see how you much just... milk we got and uh, how delicious was it. You make me a survival check, and you can just hop outside the tank and look for an animal or something just. Drain it, sir. Yeah, you, you oh. just ask me, bro. That too. <laughs> this gives me a chance. I mean, if I go outside the tank and I and I find some dude just chilling, I'm siring him immediately. I need I need a personal blood bag. I'll assist, sir. I'll fly outside and help him. Okay. you want Cyril you could roll again I can roll again yeah I will let's do it just the sippy that's better all right you find a uh just a sippy yeah you, you walk around uh, around the tank a little bit and then you find like uh a large rock and you just lift it up and you see several like um lizards just all turn their heads to look at you and then start mm -hmm. to start to scatter start to <laughs> yeah um you take your great axe flip it to its side and go whack <laughs> really quickly excellent all right you're able to drain the blood from two or three lizards. You're satisfied for another week. Cool. This man just sucked off a few lizards. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> I found a sequim true. Uh, Lizard put a power. Thing on your inventory. How did they taste like? Oh, I put something on your attributes next to your transformation DC. I put feed time. It's now a tracker that will go up over time. So every day. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Make happy. All right. Oh. What does King do other than cook and eat? The video roll offs. Uh, Dagon, I think he's still checking perimeters and stuff. 
Good. All right, Gario. You get to challenge this person. Mm-hmm. All right. Babong? I should ask. Uh, no abilities, just uh, sure. straight rolls, all right. Ooh, they have a nice modifier. Right. They are my world uh, bad. She uh, hits your staff and slides it under and sweeps you under your feet. Ooh. All right, again. All right. Nice roll. I am rolling horribly. First, first, same Why? as the first. You get packed up and she does it again. <laughs> Why? Why am I rolling She's, so bad? She's uh, giggling a little bit from this. <laughs> I'm glad she's having fun, I guess. Okay, the next one is good. This time, not good you enough. aren't tripped, uh, but you still get tapped on the... Uh, you still get tapped on the side. Pretty hard, though. She's not holding back her strength. I, I wouldn't <laughs> expect her to. Alright, again... All right. Uh, I'm I I suck ass today. Don't worry. I you know what? Silvery uh, Park Lalu. I kind of wish I was up there. Oh, no. Please that's don't funny. do that. Yes. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's still even. safe. So this time, you guys, oh, uh, hold your guys this. Uh staffs together and she tries to go for a sweep but you block it this time do you give him advantage oh no he's he's done this on his own i'm keeping the advantage for myself <laughs> <laughs> all right come on <laughs> i haven't rolled uh. something higher than five i guess <laughs> She oh, no, I rolled once. trips you I rolled once again. Once. As you're on the ground, she puts her staff towards your throat. This was fun. I think you need to get a little quicker. <laughs> she holds out a hand True. to pick you up. I grab it and put it up. I will say I... you are quite strong and sturdy, but as I said, a little oh. quicker. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm having fun, though. Uh, I want to do this again. Hmm? Oh, I want to do it again sometime. Persuasion. Persuasion? All right. Bro! <laughs> what's <laughs> my rolls? Unfortunate. At least you're getting them all out right now. Um, perhaps. Like, what the fuck? There's just a puddle on the ground, just slowly moving around. It's dragging the clothes behind it. <laughs> Why do I have an arrow over my cursor now? Uh, press Y. Or tap it twice. There we are. Thank you. Yeah. Y and T are your two little... Two other ones that do things. And then X is the other one. That's, hmm. that's trippy. Okay. One of them just added an extra pointer. Yeah. Oh, shit, we. Actually, yeah. Now on here, you only see a box. <laughs> Pointing at the goat. That goat. No, I'm touching the goat. Uh, <laughs> touching goat. Please stop touching the goat. 
Alright, uh, you wanted to do rock, paper, scissors, cereal? Oh no, you already did that. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Right. Guess we can do one more rest. And you guys can head to your next destination. So excited for tomorrow. I'm gonna rest the shame away. Well, it was fun. No watch needs it there. Yes, watch is needed. Uh, same order? If you want. Yep, let's just. So, like, King first? With it. Or. Watch. Watch. Perception. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, perception, you said? Yep. Nine. See, it's not just you, I think. A 29 and a 22. Not bad. Funny. Off in the distance, you see what looks to be fissures, venting steam, about six of them, all going off. They obscure quite a lot of area. Its placements are very strange. But yeah, that's what you notice in the distance. It's not far from you. <sighs> well, that, you don't see anything trying to attack the tank or try anything. So, this watch goes without a rod. But the smoke and things billing out of those fissures are like obscuring quite a big area. Right. Whom is next on watch? Okay, it's me, well, one second. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your eyes are way better than mine. Eighty-three and one. Oh no! You have to fight Coldrex. <laughs> well, I'm happy it's not me this time. He gets into, sh he gets shot in the face with a rock. <laughs> oh, actually. Very well. Outside, um, you see, not far, what looks to be people inside of a cave. Mm. Hey, about 
five. Um, they're bird folk, and you can tell that they're there because they're phoenix kin, and they give off light and warmth. Uh, off in the distance in their cave, you just see them. They don't look armed. They carry a lot of boxes, and they seem to have a carriage. But their carriage is displayed out right now as like a kind of shop. Do you speak Warren? Uh, mm, no, I speak Common and Bernie. Okay. Uh, You see, I speak. Yeah, you see, a few Phoenix kin seem to be, uh, look to be merchants, but uh, their shop seems to be closed at the moment. I've said it's the middle of the night, but they're close enough to your tank that you guys could walk to it after you guys wake up. Just didn't notice it after the landslide. Mm -hmm. With that, I will go over to Goryu. I will awaken him by casting Minor Illusion to make the sound of Lalu whispering in his ear. The jolt him away. Oh no, poor man. Lalu you says, say what? In your Just here. I want you. <laughs> He's fucking with you big time. <laughs> I'm a dick. I am what I eat. Silly awakens. As with whispered sweet nothings in your ear. Might be in luck. There's a shop of, uh, what are they called? It's like there's a caravan of, uh, Phoenix, Phoenixites, Phoenix skins, uh, not too far away from here, in, sh in the, uh, caves nearby. <laughs> oh, not that one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong macro. <laughs> Maybe once, once we all wake up for the day, we can go over there and get you your magic item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks and no thanks, I guess. You asshole. It is your time Play for a watch, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, perception. Perfect. Ninety nine. <laughs> 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 oh, baby. Right. You don't notice anything. Doesn't seem to be anything around. Uh, Alright. We're gonna like run over a small child or something like that. So the, the, the tank is not running. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, That's fair. <laughs> Might have done it before, but not now. I will be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. So in some sports news, uh, some NBA player named Zion Williamson or whatever is he might be forced getting traded off a team he's on because some adult film star fucked him on camera, made a video of it, and she's threatening to release it if the team doesn't trade him. Wow. So some porn stars, black, like literally, 
NBA I have sex tapes of me and him, and he also has uh, he also has them on his trap phone. Pelicans trade him now. He doesn't deserve to be in New Orleans. Sex tapes dropping soon. That's what she said. Uh, like, oh my god. If you drop a sex tape and he pulls in a lot of clout, the team's just not gonna trade him at that point. They're gonna be like, I bitch is gonna be coming to see this guy play. Yeah. What kind of sex tape though? Is it like what? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because if it takes some shit, shit, then it might be, mm. you know, put him in a bad light. Like, Maybe. Like, I, I have no take idea. Take on his chest. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> like, Ru- ru- he, would, he wouldn't get very much fucking clout then. Ruins his reputation right then and there. Wait, if the sex tape is awful. I'm yeah. so confused. It's good. He's probably going to get traded to the fucking playoffs. So confused what I just came back to, but me. So <laughs> no, guys, just so there. There's a porn star that fucked a uh, basketball player, like NBA, and she openly tweeted the Pelicans, which team he's on. If you he doesn't deserve to be in New Orleans, trade him now, or I'm dropping the sex tape I made with him. <laughs> she yeah. she didn't tweet the player. She tweeted the team. Lol. To trade the player. To trade the player? Yes. Trade Zion Williams New Ar- from from the Pelicans because he doesn't deserve to be in New Orleans or I'm dropping the sex tape I made with him. Heck. Right? Like, lol. So random. No, nah, it's, it's... I just I pulled up my phone. You're like, yo, I'll be right back. So I was just looking at some news and it was like the first thing I see on Instagram. I was like, yo, what the fuck? All right. Bitches be wildin'. Yeah, I think of it. Is that what BBW stands for? Bitches be wildin'? I think so. Hey, let's find that later. Oh, okay. Your sleep goes without a rye. Next watch. Oh, well, last watch. Is it gonna be Dagon again? Yep. Same okay. One. Uh, you, for some reason, is unable to go to sleep. Having a, let's say, hard time. 89 or 98. Nice. What the fuck? That, we, we wouldn't be able to get that even if we tried to. Like we spent, if we spent like two hours, we we wouldn't get that. What eighty seven or ninety eight? Yeah, it's like eight nine nine eight. Oh, you ready to see me do it in first try? I'm good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> could, could you imagine though? Just cu- fucking use hockey and just fucking see the future. <laughs> yeah. Really? Um, you hear rumbling outside. Uh, well, Dagon does at least. And he sees uh, what looks to be a giant just rolling by. He taps on the tank a couple of times. Yeah, useless junk. And keeps walking. This one goes without a rye. This one wasn't a uh, fire giant. This one was more of a hill or stone giant. Man, thought gonna kill. We are going to kill another giant. These ones are neutral, so they will not attack unless provoked. Uh. The tank wasn't doing anything, and it was trying to see what the fuck it was. So it tapped it a few times and looked around, and was like, eh, not worth it. Kept going. Went up the mountain. Alright. As day arrives, you all slowly awaken. Didn't start your journey. Forward. 
There's still a geyser up ahead. Blocking obscure or uh that seems to be obscuring something. And then towards the mountain, which is on your uh so geyseros are on your left. Merchants in mountain are on your right. Uh let's go to the merchants first. Checking the map, marking the geyser, and it's like yeah, mm, mm, mm. Um, and good morning, everybody. I'll fly with him to meet the merchants in case something might be useful. I'm just gonna have them here. Oh, nice. There we go. I am the butterfly. Bluffy. I don't know why I read that butterfly. For some reason, my brain was like, ooh, that's butterfly. Yeah. You uh, come up to the cave and you see four or five phoenix skins and one phoenix skin that is of blue and purple flame colors. They, uh, it's nice to reach you. you. And they seem to be the one running the shop. Hello and welcome to Bluffy's Extravagant Items. I find things all across these ashlands, make them into strong, sturdy weapons, armor, and other various equipments that an adventurer would need. Got to say, you're the first non-denizens I have seen here to try and purchase my said items. Well, uh, it do be true that we are not from here, but we are. Well, I'm prepared to be here. You're, you're not an, uh, you're not a ashen elf or a cursed tiefling of said kind, and also not a phoenix kin. Yeah, what? Kind of similar though. Takes out wings. Yeah. Normally, folks avoid our land, but your luck seems I will be. Having new prospects, perhaps. Well, Some information of the outside land. Hmm. Well, uh, do you want some goats? What? Yeah, well, we there. got some giant goats. <laughs> There's goats on the mountain. I don't need goats. Ah, I see. Uh, what do you sell? What do you have? I sell many things. I sell uncommon magic items. I sell armor and equipment and potions. Uh, do you have light chakrams? Light chakrams? Yeah, like these. Ooh, what a strange and extravagant item. I do not, at the moment, sell those. Uh, they will turn to their other... Well, if you want, we can disenchant one of our magical items and enchant yours instead. Oh, uh... That is also an option. What's that gonna cost? Hmm, since you already own the item, about the cost of the magic. Not so much the cost of the item and the magic. Hmm. Generally, I would range from, depending on the enchantment, about 100 to 500 gold, depending. Uh, hmm. uh, well, I want to, I want them to hit better. Uh, yeah, I'll get 100 of one of these. So, man, I'm running low on funds. I should have still still more. No, because I I might not have enough to do what I want to do now. We'll see. You shouldn't drop that, then, my friend. We'll see. Can you knock out again sometime? 
Yeah, I, I don't worry. I hid my money though, so oh, next next time we go out, I'm hiding everything I don't need, just in case something happens. No one's rinsing my pockets again. You should just have sent out. That Stares at everyone. Very funny. So, um, how much would it cost to upgrade my axe? Mm -hmm. Depending on what it is. Um, okay. So it's a plus one right now. Something. I've been trying to find it online, but I can't find any information about how to like even go about upgrading from plus one to plus two uh plus two is rare ah okay that... and they only can do up to uncommon at the moment so they oh, can okay. See, they yeah. can add a damage type to your weapon though oh yes so actually they can add what... like fire cold lightning or uh mm. new Lightning Thunder? Um, I would love some cold. I, I'm just kind of thinking the same thing. I'm like, a lot of the shit we've been fighting is kind of like fire, right? Like, fire's up. We're not obviously wouldn't want fire enchants. I, I want it so I can make ice for myself when we don't have to use spell but slots. If I put lightning or thunder on my axe and I, and I like slam the ground, can I make it like for thunder? Can I make like an echo? Or would it just be elemental damage on the weapon? Uh, it would be elemental damage to the weapon, generally. Okay. These people don't have any, um... Well... Uh, the one that will be making your things... Might. No, I was just genuinely, like, curious for something, because, like, if, if that worked, that means something else would work for a different element, I'm thinking. Oh, Radiant. Sorry, that's another one you can do. Yeah. So What the fuck how... does Radiant do? I'm thinking, like, D2. Uh, radiant is, like, uh, holy damage or radiation. Wouldn't I be affected by my radiation from the weapon, though? No. Because I'm, like, within Not the proxy. Really. No, no. Uh, so... They don't actually have any things for that, so you're fine. No, no, I, no, that's cool. I didn't, that's just curious. That's, yeah. How much for just plus one and uh, uh, how much for, for minimum one. damage? Uh, and and elemental damages? I was going to say 175 elemental damage, depending on which type. Uh, it's, so, if you want like necrotic and radiant, it will actually be 200. And or, sorry. Uh, it'll be adding like a I, d6 of elemental damage or differentiated all right uh if i get elemental damage it doesn't become plus one right uh it you can do both would and that would cost how much both prices combined so a hundred so or 275 I I I have 160 76 gold. So I How much do you need? Left. He needs 100. I, I need oh, 100 never mind, you're gold. Good. <sighs> so I'll, if I get I can get either one. I'll give him the 100 gold. You know Yo what? yo yo me. All right, I owe you one. Yeah. Uh I have one gold left. <laughs> All right. So uh Thank you. Okay. So. Yeah. Hey, you're the man, bro. What damage type are you buying? Uh, cold. Cold. Okay, so your chakras are becoming a plus one. And. 1d6 cold damage. Zero. You're adding yeah, I'll, to your great axe. I'll get cold. cold yeah, I'll get well. cold as well. Yeah, just because we're fighting a lot of fire things. However, while well, we're here, because I have two hand axes that I can throw. Yeah. I would like, I'd like to upgrade them if I can. Yeah. Because right, that's why I really haven't been using them yet. Just because, like, they're not as strong. Okay. 
cool. Now the chilled great axe. Nice. Yeah, so after that, uh, if I can, I'd want to upgrade the two hand axes. What would that oh, no. cost? I, uh, I copied myself. Same prices. <laughs> There's still yeah. for me now. How much? Yeah, what was the price to upgrade? It was just 100? Uh, two, I, I don't one hundred. I don't know which one to fire pull. Uh, for plus one hundred for elemental, uh, the uh, it's one seven five. So you know what? I'll because I'm pretty sure I have enough. So what the... I'll upgrade both hand axes and I'll put them both cold. Okay. So both are you making them plus ones and? Mm -hmm. chilled okay that yeah that way if, that way if i'm a little bit of a distance now i can just kind of like throw a chilled axe at something well versus it's like yeah so... this, this this will work i have a plan i'll probably end up forgetting to pick these up and it'll be a waste in the long run after i throw them but i uh, go master said i i owe you blood for six months <laughs> 400 gold <laughs> yeah Sorry, ah, oh, that's right. It's in behind. How silly. People generally suck for money. I get sucked. <laughs> Stop. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> was funny. God damn it. Uh. Okay. Your it's axes hard to be. are upgraded. <laughs> it's hard to be wanted. Right. <laughs> um... This will never do it done. I picked this up a while back in one of the ruins. Oh. Would it be something you're interested in? Interesting. Um, I can take that off your hands for 300 gold. It's an heirloom, ancient one. It's not magical or anything, but has value to our people. It's completely understandable. Uh, Egan approaches the merchant. I'll... I'll accept the trade. Uh, Bluefy will talk to Dagon and say, uh, The temple ahead is one that's long lost. Uh, it was overrun by aberrations after a trial went awry. It is supposed to be the monument of Eerie. Yeah, right. But those aberrant creatures have desecrated and destroyed that monument. So the trial of fury is a little harder to accomplish. Um, well, we are going there. Oh. It just so happens we cleared the trial of pride at the Vigo. Oh. All right. Trail, trailblazers. <laughs> hmm. It um, seems you I must was... be the outsiders completing our trials of our people. We've heard of you. So then, your next task is fury, eh? Be careful. Yep. As I said, aberrations. Whatever they have planned, we don't know. But they took over our temple. And if you take care of them, I'm sure you will complete your trial. Fury. Uh, this might not have any value to you, but um, it came across some tar, tar slimes in the way. And this oil seems to be burning really nicely. Thanks, yeah. 
I have plenty of oil and things. We're fine. I appreciate yeah, you, you seem to be on fire, too. <laughs> you, you, you don't really have a use for this. Uh, but... Figured might as well ask. Are you able to enchant ma musical instruments as well as weapons? Pardon? I saw you, uh... You know... Providing magical enchantments to ah, yes. their weapons. Uh, Are you able to do it with musical instruments as well, by any chance? Perhaps I may be able to. How much would that cost, if you don't mind me asking? Well, we sell various weapons here, uh, but also... Uh, uh, my enchanting brother can do all those things, but he's not super great at magic. We also sell some fancy weapons that we took off of uh, bodies around the white areas. Uh, we have uh, magic in few teeth caps. No, out <laughs> of that one. <laughs> Uh, we have a cane that turns into a bladed whip. We have a hammer that if you smack the back of it, it makes an explosive bludgeoning hit. Uh, we have a one-handed sword that turns into a two-handed hammer, or a one-handed sword that turns into a two-handed uh, two sword. Uh, they're kind of, uh, he pulls out one of them. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys. I actually put Bloodborne weapons into the game. <laughs> this is what he's describing. <laughs> so, he has this one, which, uh, if you sheath it, it turns into a great sword, basically. Uh, and then he has the hammer one, which for some reason I can't find, or I keep, pa ah, there you are, split it into two weapons. So it's the Kirk hammer and the Kirk hammer two-handed. Uh, I also have... Uh, a hammer, aka the boomhammer. Hammer. <laughs> okay, that's where the horse damage is. <laughs> Basically, uh, hammer you can charge to uh, knock someone prone with its uh, or hit. The ultimate. Indeed. <laughs> Boom, hammer. I also uh, I also sell potions if you are all in need of, let's say, healing potions, or potions to make you faster, or, say, a potion to give you strength of giants. Or maybe one that you need to help you resist fire. It's very harsh environments here. Could come in handy. Uh, perhaps a potion that makes you bigger? As it taller and wider. Potion of growth. Um, and I think I also have... Uh, ah. A potion that turns you into a mist of gas. I 
Ooh. don't know why. <laughs> or how. <laughs> it just happens. So, I so sell greater... Uh, this guy sells potions of greater healing. Uh, regular potions of healing. Also, uh, he has about two superior healing potions. Hmm. Uh, regular potions of healing are 25, greater 50, uh, superior are 350, and supreme are 500, but it's going to be supreme. Uh, potion of speed is 200. Potion of well, looks... strength he was talking about. 100. Looks uh, at the single gold. The fire resistance is... <laughs> 200 a potion of it's I'm big now 100 yeah I have to limit the superior healing and supreme healings when it comes to merchants those yeah, ones do take some... actions to drink. So, you know. So, mega heals. Um, are you asking how much gold or how much potions? Well, I was asking about how much effort would even be possible to... Uh, if it would be possible to enchant my iron instrument in the same way that they enchanted a weapon, turning it into a plus one. Oh. If that's I... even possible. I wonder if that's possible. Hello. Yes. That'd be something I'm interested in. How much would that cost? Well, to upgrade. Same as the others. 100 gold. But if you want to buy this drum, that's it. This is a mighty warring drum it's a plus one drum hmm hmm would that be a hundred as well or would that be more <laughs> This would be about 175. That sounds good. I'll take that and I'll uh, take the upgrade to this. And I'll pass him 275 gold. Alright. Sounds good. Oops. Uh, to your viola, yeah? Yep, that would do perfectly. Okay. I'm going to... Just duplicate the rhythm here, drum. Into your viola. Thank you. Oh, you mentioned potions as well. Uh, anybody here have a particular potion they would want? Garyu, King, 
Um, sorry, what I dozed off for a sec. My brain turned off. He has quite a bit of potions, and I've got some change left over. You could buy a few. Uh, I don't really need any. I mean, okay. yeah, potions okay. give a lot of variety, but uh, I don't think I need much. Fair enough. King? So? Uh, go master. No, I'm is good. I got for a fire res and a potion of speed. Oh yeah, there you go. Hmm. How much for those set us back? How? Yeah, Dag Dagon's wondering how much for a fire resistant potion of speed. Yeah, I see uh, that. Fire resistance is two hundred. Potion of speed, I think, is the same thing. So four hundred for both. Mm, Three eighty nine. I got 55 gold still. I can't yeah, I suppose you'd difference. be willing to give us a bit of the discount, considering you did give you that amulet, or found that amulet for you. I have 300 gold, too, if anyone needs. Persuasion. Someone's haggling. Hmm. Perfect. Ah. Uh, before. Yes, I could discount you. All, all right. One fifty each. One fifty would be perfect. I'll hand over to three hundred. I, I think Dagon is paying himself. Oh. Yeah. He's rich. Ish. He got money. So, okay. He's sending over the PP. Okay. He, he's, he's sending over his what? Platinum points. <laughs> yeah. or pieces, so he's I paying guess. for his own then? Yes, he is pa he's paying for his I, own. I have a dirty mind. That's okay. Uh... <laughs> You would have laughed really hard when someone said they do not have enough PP for strip club. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone said Story that in the middle of a campaign. Uh, any healing potions? Um, you said you had. What's the next step up from basic healing potions? Superior. How much were those again? Oh, uh, sorry, step up from regular healing? So greater, sorry. Yeah. Greater, those are 50 per. And there are 44 plus 50. 4. Yeah. Uh, I'll take three of those. Great. Oui. Here you go. Dagon, do you buy any potions? Or any healing potions as well? Uh, does King want to buy anything? Um... I think because I got boots last time. Jonathan Dagon wants there. one, uh, one greater to standard. Two standard. Okay. Yes, I I'm watching the chat on my other monitor. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. And that will be. I think that's a hundred gold. Wicked. Uh, this person also sells equipment for various things. So, like, you need like things like alchemist, fire, oil. What the fuck is this? He said he had ten PP left. He hands over. Can 
instead of C hundred her potion of enlargement. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll yes. buy a potion then. A, a huge. Growth potion acquired. Thank you. You can also purchase toolkits if you are unable to use a tool or don't have a specific toolkit like alchemist supplies or other things like that. I think that's me tapped. Alright. Yep, that's all we buy. Yes. Alright. Uh, Bluefield will be like, Pleasure doing business with you all. Uh -huh. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ah, pleasure's all mine. And by my brain. Alright. Oh, yeah, you're up. <laughs> Well, you now have magic. You now have your chill chakrams. Chill chakram, nice. Let, let me do a test run with those bad boys. Five attacks, so much damage. Don't attack the goat. <laughs> okay. I love it. Look, look at that. That that's a two right there. That's a twelve. I I, I got a plus I ten. Have. It fits so much bloodshed on these puppies. It slaps this chakra. <laughs> it's like. Hey, Damon. You there? Yeah. You want to buy anything? Yeah, I'm here. Um. I don't know if there is anything like we can buy and still have the no armor or like the monk thing, right? The unarmored movement? Ooh, that oh, doesn't have my attack. the unarmored movement. No, but do you need like potions or anything? Potions or anything. You don't need no, my don't. armor. Uh, but uh, speaking of that, uh, oh, you don't have enough for that. Oh, how much is it? Uh, there's uh, bracers that would increase your AC because you don't wear armor. They're called bracers of defense. Uh. They give you plus two have, to your AC. I do have gauntlets on, though. Oh, yeah. You I, have, have, I already have some gauntlets. Yeah. Those give you strength, and your boots give you something else. My boots give me double or triple, I think, jump. Yeah. Um... Uh, braces is there defense are 500 is, gold. Is there a potion of like light feather or something like that, or something that gets rid of my weight? Something in what, like make you lighter? Yeah, so I can jump even higher without using my step of the wind. Just throw a cigarette away. That way you become an entire cigarette lighter. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> DM takes cringe damage. <laughs> it's getting uh <laughs> Um There are potions of flying. Uh, but potions of breathing water. But I don't think there's potions of that, though. No. Well, 
Unless you want to do the gaseous form one, you just turn it into a cloud of gas. And everything you're carrying and everything you are becomes mist for the duration of 10 minutes, I think? Hour? Hour. One hour. Misty. You can't talk or touch objects. But you're you're um, you're just gas. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good on that one. All right. I don't think I need anything. To be honest. You don't think you need healing potions? I have ah, uh, fuck it. I'll grab two. All right, greater or uh, regular? Uh, just two greater, actually. You know, just yeah. All right, sounds good. Perfect. Money well so, spent. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, if you ever put a creature that has less than 85 HP, I can one-shot it. Yeah? It's like, that's the minimum damage I can deal. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's what you were doing. Without sharpshooter. Fair enough. With sharpshooter and another 50 on that. <laughs> Not too sharp. Alright. With that, you guys can start your tank up and head to the temple. Or right, check out the go. geysers. Uh, yeah, how are we on fuel? Um, you guys used uh, quite a bit of your fuel, but you guys have reserves that you can fill it back up. Uh, right now Ooh. it is nearing empty. Yes, I've used a lot of the gas without refilling mm. it. We should definitely yeah. fill it up. Uh, yeah. If I remember correctly, you guys got two extra full tanks, uh, tank fuel, but you will have to harvest your own at some point. Yeah, let's fill this one and. Uh... Go check out the geysers, so they might be maybe harvestable for us. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do we roll for? Uh, refilling? Oh, was it, uh, Koval rolling Arcana? Uh, that's it. Turn it on, but... Might need help to actually put the uh, things in uh you will need uh hmm there isn't a check for this one other than you'll need someone with better strength than cavell to put it in i i'm i'm waiting at the uh, yeah. tire so, so you can you help me with this one reserve yeah sure I got. I can easily help you with that. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Perfect. Because I've got the strength of a French fry. Uh, what do you want? Brings strength the tank check from below. And brings it back. Sorry. Oh no, check. I just need some okay, better cool. strength. <laughs> That's fine. They I'm have not sure eight, if you want they to have roll seven it or not. strength. They wouldn't have been able to carry the thing at all. Oh, I know what this is. I provide emotional support. That's it. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Tell him you're doing do good. It. That's yes, all right. you can. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, good boy. <laughs> it plays a little tune for you the whole time. <laughs> Woo! Just coming up from the storeroom. Um, how many, how, how full does it get after filling it with the one? Uh, you now have full tank. Cool. So is, did it take the entire canister? Is there any left in it? There's like a little bit left. You believe these things are meant to like full fuel, uh, the tank, but you have a, mm -hmm. there's a little bit in there right now, which means you can still fill it back up with the more ethereum as you guys get. Uh, you guys Dude. do have empty tanks within the 
place itself, as well as a way to refine the Aetherium that you get if it's raw, as this tank actually has a refining post within the engine room so it can refine raw Aetherium for fuel. Oh, that's cool. Mm. How convenient. Very. Uh, I will need you guys to make perception checks on your guys' this way back to your tank, and then uh, you guys can start on starting the tank. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my headset cut out. Do you, I do seem to be there? for real plane. Uh, oh, perception yeah. check. Give me a funny one, can we? Holy Ooh. fucking shit. Everyone but Garyu. Garyu just gets into the tank and sits down at the wheel. It's ready to go, waiting for everyone else to get back inside. The rest of you see a dog-like creature on the back of your guys' tank. He's just sitting on there, like, curled up. Well, at first you think it's a dog, and then you realize, oh, well, that is kind of a canine. It's a hellhound. It's a hellhound sitting on your, uh, well, the, I guess the part that exhales all the heat and everything out of the tank, and it's sitting on top of it. Just absorbing Ooh. the heat. It's docile. It's not trying to do anything. It sees you and just stays where it is. Uh, Do you let it be? Would I know anything about the hellhounds? You can make a nature check if you want. Because there's actually a difference between the hellhounds in this region and hellhounds from the other. Hmm. Would I be able to give myself bardic? Uh, yes, you shall. Uh, nature? Mm -hmm. So Ooh. close. That was dog shit, the movie. <laughs> no idea. The others that are with them can also make that check. And nature, if you'd like. I can, I can, yeah. Oh, yeah. my screen keeps fuck. It keeps it keeps going black, and I have to keep fucking reloading. That's not fun. I I, think I know. I might have a fix for that in a sec. Test it. Yeah, it's like I gotta completely reload it. It's bugged out on my end. Gonna let me load in. There we go. What do you need? Nature, you said? Nature, yeah. Yep. Oh, psh. No, there's no point. I'm minus one in this. Ah, uh, fair enough. I'm better than me. Yeah, actually. Uh, it's not a super duper high check. But King gets it. Higher. I'm much higher. Okay, that, that'll work. It was like a DC 10. So, the 14. Uh, these types of hellhounds are more like dogs. Or wolves. They're not threatening towards uh, humanoids. Uh, but, these ones being in the Ashlands prefer mega heat sources. So, they'll sleep next to lava rivers. They'll sleep on top of geysers that shoot out like billowing uh heat uh or they'll sit on a fire just take it okay uh 
They're basically immune to fire and everything, but they really, really love heat. Right now, it is attracted to your guys' heat exhaust from your tank. Okay. Yeah. But it seems to not be violent or anything. Doesn't want to do anything to you guys. It seems to just be chilling. Alright. You guys can start your tank up and plus one pet. <laughs> it seems Go Master doesn't or Dagon doesn't want thing on tank. <laughs> uh you try to shoo it off and it just grumbles and growls a little bit. I will need him to make an animal handling check. My God. Oh. Not bad. Eventually it, it uh walks off and disappears. You see it jump off the other side of the tank and you like walk over to the other side and it's gone. What? Where to go? Well, you think it's uh at the moment, you think it's gone and it's left. Digging goes back into the tank. For the best. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you. Seventeen, sixteen. Athletics zero and Q. Fourteen. Not bad. Damon? Hey. Oh. <laughs> you want me to do it again? Oh, that's so funny. Um. If that failed. Uh, we well, yeah, you'll need to roll a, a saving check to save the tank. Strength um, or dexterity. But I also remembered you guys reinforced it a little better, and I will accept this one mishap. But if it happens again, the tank will, you guys will need to save it. So there you go. Your tank continues rolling. A little bit of uh, clumsiness from King's side, but it doesn't seem to affect the engine itself, and you guys continue forward. Traveling forth. As you reach the uh, what looks to be a small temple, eventually. I think that's where we'll pick up next session at the temple. But oh boy. I'm going to give you guys a teaser of the temple. Ooh. Group hug time. Someone squeezes my ass this time. I swear to God, I'm gonna deck them. <laughs> King slowly puts his hand higher than the rest. <laughs> Feels like he's Kaval slowly draws his rigor <laughs> higher than the rest. Right, <laughs> getting ready to like smack him. That's funny. Uh... I I hold up my hammer. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna break some fingers. <laughs> Damn it. That sound. Only one person can grab this ass. Alright. Cool. Paste you all here. Oh, then I also need your tank. Tank. Ah, here we go. Tank. Tank. There we go.
There we go. Let me know when you load the temple. Uh, it looks loaded to me, I think. All right. Um. Also in. Welcome to the temple. As you reach this area, the lands around you seem to almost redden and darken in that kind of way. You look out to the sky and the clouds and ashen smog seem to have dyed the sun red. And this area seems very dangerous. You sense an uneasiness in the temple. And with that, we shall end this session of Ash and Blood. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, please, please stop it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all for well, joining us for today's too. session. Hope to all see you next week. Bye bye everybody. Bye, Bye bye.